In the heart of Paris, a young boy was born into a world of hardship and struggle. This is the story of a boy who would rise from the ashes of adversity to create a legacy that would span centuries. Born into poverty, he was no stranger to the harsh realities of life. His home was a broken one filled with shattered dreams and faded hopes. But even as a child, he held on to a glimmer of optimism, a belief that he was meant for something more. As he grew older, his circumstances worsened. His home, once a place of refuge, was no longer a safe haven. The broken pieces of his life crumbled further, and he found himself alone, navigating the labyrinthine streets of Paris. Homeless and helpless, he had nothing but the clothes on his back and a dream in his heart. Yet, the young boy who would one day be known as Louis Vuitton, refused to let his circumstances define him. He held on to his dreams, clutching them tightly like a beacon in the midst of a storm. He dreamt of a better life, one far removed from the cold, unforgiving streets of Paris. Life on the streets was a daily struggle, a battle for survival, but he was a fighter, a dreamer, a believer. He knew that his present didn't dictate his future. He understood that his current struggle was not his final destination. His spirit was unbroken, his determination unyielding. He carried within him an unwavering belief in a brighter future, a future that would see him rise above the struggles of his past. His dreams were his lifeline, his escape from the harsh realities of his life, and so, he continued to dream. He dreamt of a life where he wasn't defined by his circumstances, a life where he could create, innovate, and inspire. His journey was far from easy. It was marked by hardship, struggle, and countless setbacks. But it was also marked by resilience, determination, and an unyielding spirit. Even in the face of adversity, the spark of ambition never left his eyes. His story serves as an inspiration to us all, a reminder that our circumstances do not define us but rather, how we respond to them does. Life on the streets was no walk in the park, but it was here that the seeds of resilience were sown. Surviving on the streets is a challenge that tests the very limits of human endurance. It is a place where every day is a battle, and each night, a fight for survival. For our young man, it became a living classroom where he learned lessons that no institution could ever teach. Life on the streets is a masterclass in resourcefulness. Without the comfort of a home, he learned to make do with what was available. Discarded cardboard boxes became a makeshift mattress. He learned to find sustenance in what others might discard. He discovered the art of bartering, trading what he had for what he needed, an exercise in negotiation and compromise that honed his business acumen, with no one to rely on but himself, he learned the importance of self-reliance. But more than that, he understood the power of community. He found that even in the harshest of conditions, there was a sense of camaraderie among those who shared his circumstances. They looked out for each other, shared what little they had, and in doing so, they created a bond that was as strong as any family's. Living on the streets, he faced adversity in its rawest form, but instead of succumbing to despair, he chose to rise above it. He learned that life is not about the number of times you get knocked down, but the number of times you get back up. Every setback was a lesson, every failure, a stepping stone to success. Life on the streets was tough, but it also taught him the value of resilience. He learned to adapt, to endure, to persevere. He learned that in the face of adversity, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog that matters. The streets were a harsh teacher, but they taught him the true value of determination and resilience. Fate, they say, often has a strange way of intervening, and for our young hero, it came in the form of an unexpected opportunity. In the midst of his struggle for survival, a glimmer of hope appeared. It was not a lottery win or a sudden inheritance, but something far more valuable. A chance to learn, to grow, to create. It was a job opportunity at a local tailor shop, one might wonder what could a homeless teenager possibly do in a tailor shop, but it was here, amidst the hum of sewing machines and the rustle of fabric, that he found not just a source of income, but a lifeline, a passion that would ultimately shape his destiny. Each day at the tailor shop was a revelation. He was a sponge, soaking in everything he could from the simplest stitch to the most complex pattern. The world of fashion, with its endless possibilities and boundless creativity, had him captivated. He would spend hours after work sketching designs and dreaming up creations that would one day grace the runways of Paris. 
This unlikely opportunity was more than just a job, it was a path that led him to discover his passion for fashion and design. It was a platform that allowed him to showcase his creativity, to learn the intricacies of craftsmanship, and to understand the rhythm and flow of the fashion world. It was also a stepping stone to his emancipation. No longer was he just a homeless teen. He was a young man with dreams and ambitions, a young man with a vision. He was slowly but surely carving out a niche for himself in the world of fashion, proving that circumstances do not define one's future but rather, it is one's passion and determination that does. This unexpected opportunity was the first step towards a future he could only have dreamt of. It was the turning point in his life, the moment when he moved from simply surviving to truly living, from being a homeless teen to becoming the creator of Louis Vuitton. With a newfound purpose he began to rise from the ashes one stitch at a time. The tailor's shop became his sanctuary, a place where he could escape from the harsh realities of his past and focus on the intricate art of stitching. The hum of the sewing machine was his symphony, the smooth glide of the needle his dance. He began to explore the world of fabrics, experimenting with different textures and patterns, spending countless hours perfecting his craft. His dedication did not go unnoticed. The head tailor, a stern man with decades of experience, took him under his wing, teaching him the secrets of the trade. Under his guidance, our protagonist evolved from a novice sewer to a skilled tailor. He was no longer mending garments, he was creating them, but he didn't stop there. His creativity was boundless, his ambition relentless. He started to sketch his own designs, each one a testament to his journey, his struggles and his dreams. He incorporated elements from his past, the worn-out rags he used to wear, the cobblestone streets he used to walk, into his designs. His creations were unique, a blend of street style and high fashion, a fusion of grit and glamour. Word about his talent spread like wildfire in the fashion circles of Paris. His designs were unconventional, bold, unlike anything the Parisian elite had ever seen. They were intrigued, captivated by his fresh perspective on fashion. Soon he started receiving orders for custom-made outfits, his designs adorning the bodies of the city's most fashionable inhabitants. In the blink of an eye, he had transformed his life, his destiny. He was no longer a homeless teen struggling for survival. He was an artist, a creator, a visionary. His journey was a testament to the power of resilience, the strength of determination, and the magic of dreams. The boy who once walked the streets in worn-out rags was now dressing the creme de la creme of Paris. With his talent and determination, he transformed an impossible dream into a reality. That's the story of Louis Vuitton, a name now synonymous with luxury and high fashion. But how did a homeless adolescent become the founder of one of the world's most iconic fashion houses? Let's dive in. It was in the year 1854 in Paris, the fashion capital of the world, that Louis Vuitton took his first steps into the world of design. With a handful of savings and a heart full of dreams, Vuitton opened a small workshop on Rue Neuve des Capucines. The shop was humble, but it bore the name that would soon be recognized around the globe, Louis Vuitton. The journey wasn't easy. Vuitton faced countless obstacles from financial hardships to fierce competition. But his relentless spirit and innovative mindset set him apart from the rest. He introduced flat-top trunks, a departure from the traditional round-top trunks that were difficult to stack. His design was not only practical but also stylish, making travel an elegant affair. Despite the initial success, Vuitton's journey was far from smooth. He had to contend with imitators who sought to capitalize on his success by creating counterfeit versions of his designs. But Vuitton wasn't one to back down. He responded by changing the design of his trunks, introducing distinctive patterns and logos that were difficult to copy. This move not only thwarted the counterfeiters but also cemented Louis Vuitton as a trendsetter in the fashion industry. Over the years the Louis Vuitton brand has grown from a small Parisian workshop to a global fashion powerhouse. It has become a symbol of style, luxury, and innovation, with its products coveted by fashion enthusiasts around the world. And the man behind it all? A once homeless teen, who, through sheer determination and unwavering belief in his vision, created a fashion empire that continues to inspire and influence the world of design. From homelessness to creating Louis Vuitton, this is the inspiring story of a boy who dared to dream, 